Hey, what's up, guys? It's TB12 Collection. Just uh, want to share a couple of things with you out there. You know, I know it's football season. I'm a big Tom Brady fan. And, um, you know, I had a crazy experience here in Dallas. It's absolutely insane uh, experience. I uh, had a buddy of mine call me up to want to go to an estate sale. And um, the next day we went very early in the morning. And I went to go look at a bunch of cards. Figured it would be a lot of 80s, 90s, right? We all... We all know that game. And, um, you know, looking around, there was some good 90s stuff, like late 90s basketball, things like, of that nature. Nothing crazy. And I offered the guy a couple hundred dollars for uh, these cards. Thought there were maybe about $500 worth of stuff. And he, he said someone offered him a ridiculous amount of money for him. And I said, you know, I'll pass. I saw some 2014 Prism soccer cards, the World Cup cards. And... Um, I uh, saw some holes missing, some pages, right? We always get scared of pages, uh, cards and pages, nine, you know, the nine slot page. And I saw a little box and I flipped it open and saw a, a messy card in there, just a regular base card, looked it up, figured it would be about a couple hundred dollars, which it was in, in you know, a nine, five or a 10. And uh, I ended up taking those cards and going through them later on. And I hit a silver prism out of that box not and it came back at nine five and i want to share that with y'all freshly graded you can see the card the prism effect on it uh he's the go to soccer as, as many call him uh and uh so i was super excited it's very rare that that happens in our you know hobby that we go to a state stale and something like that just pops off the other thing that they gave me, I got a bunch of colored prisms. I got some base uh, Cristiano Ronaldo cards. I got some base Messies out of there. Haven't got those graded. Uh, I don't want to wait a year to get them back, but I probably will at some point. But I, they also gave me some Panini packs from Italy from ninth, the 1990 World Cup. And I think they were manufactured in 86. And I want to bust those for us today. And... Um, just see if we get a Diego Mardona, which is the other goat of uh, Argentina soccer. Uh, a lot of old school people think he's the best. So I want to get on that. I got some of those sticker packs and we'll have some fun and bust those open. Put my uh, crazy fine. As you can see, three nine fives and a 10. This was sitting in a paper box, guys. This wasn't, you know, I think I have the box right here as well. Um, I don't know if this is it or not. Yeah, this is it. Look, look, guys. Original box right here. This was the box it was in. BCW. Um, guy had really good taste. I was selling this stuff off, and um, I got really, really lucky. That's a that's a monster card, as we all know, and especially in this uh, this hobby. So here we go. We know who we're looking for. Mardona. I got my. Uh, sleeves and everything here. This stuff's really, really condition sensitive. You can see the the original packs. These these guys had these clearly for a long, long time. Um, this was thrown in the deal. You can look at the copyright, the 86. The, these are the Italian ones. They make different packs of these from different places in the world. You can see made in Italy. I took a, a vote out on uh, Instagram and people said to bust them uh, about a week or so ago. And I've gotten the time now to do that. So, again, rare. I couldn't find any on eBay or any other place. So, um, you know, it's a little, uh, you know, bittersweet to want to open these up. But, uh, hey, that's what they're manufactured for. So, let's see what we got. I've never opened up sticker. I'm trying to be careful. I do have a nice knife sitting by if I have to get that crazy. Oh, look at those just fall right open like that. Let's see what we get. Alfonso Dominguez. I'm just gonna stick these over here and keep them piled up. They're in really good condition, these, these cards. They're in really, really good condition. The well-centered and for being as old as they are in those, um, you know, they're coming out pretty crisp. Look at that. Boom, right out like that. You guys hear that? This one's stuck here. Make sure I didn't have anything 
stuck. And the other one. Yeah, because there's a lot more. Oh, this guy's good. It's a Brazilian guy. Matino. I think that's how you say it. I do train jujitsu uh, and speak very little Portuguese, <laughs> even though I train the sport. The Brazilian sport of jujitsu. Let's see. I don't think there's anything in here. No, there's nothing in here. So let's keep these all kind of squirted away. Respect. Respect the cards. I did pay $150 to get that card graded. <laughs> uh, I got it back in two days. They were very good to me. Back it is. So I was very fortunate. Another Brazilian guy. These guys are always good. I think we're gonna get a Mardona. Beautiful panini. Oh, something gold in here. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's like the little, I don't know if that's like a base sort of thing. I don't know. There wasn't as many cards in that. Did you guys, I mean, that one pack seemed like it had a ton of stuff in it. There's another card on the back of this. There. I knew it looked a little thick. Kind of cool. This one's kind of already open. Look at that. These things are just falling apart. Perfect pack to, to be open. Well, we know what we were looking for. I don't see them yet. It's very, very possible. All these packs don't get that hit. Hey. Can't get greedy, considering the fact that I got the big dog right there. Watch those corners on these things. I'm going to have to look up who else is hot out of this. Oh, I thought that was him. Saw the Argentina. Did you see? Saw, the, saw the Argentina flag. Got really excited there for a second. I'd love to get one back and get it in a PSA holder or a Beckett holder. That would be nice. Belgium. Let's see, we're let we know what we're looking for. There's the Argentina team. So he's positive. Another Brazilian. Sorting the hits, the old sticker hits. Same guy. Oh, it looks like it. Look, there's the sticker for $125. They, he threw these all in, all the soccer cards for $125. If we get it, last pack. I don't think I got him. No Mardona, no hit. No big hit. But hey, what can you do? Again, can't be greedy. Thank you all for checking this out. I got some other stuff we're going to rip. Old school, Tetrad, 1995. First product to have a hit in every pack. Thank you all for watching.